Hey guys, this is Wagwan Apps and today we're going to run through the Ring Video Doorbell app. So you've seen in the past previous videos, I guess, uh, we've shown you the unboxing of the Video Doorbell 2, uh, the Ring Video Doorbell 2, and um, the setup and configuration of that doorbell specifically. So this is it running at the moment live on the app. So uh, this is the app that configures it. You can see straight away you get quite a big uh, snapshot of... Um, the current doorbell um, and if you have other cameras you'll see them all laid out here although I've only got one and I've got one chime uh, and if we go up to these settings here uh, like this you can see that dashboard devices so I can go to devices for example and it says okay I've got the front door online the chime is online is also downstairs and what else do we have we have a history we have settings so go back to dashboard um, so the first thing you get on the main screen now, and this has just changed recently in an update. So even if I go to, for example, new features, for example, you can see the camera preview is the new feature. And when I set this up maybe two, three weeks ago, this wasn't actually in the app. So they added it just now, literally. Um, so you get this preview now, which is quite handy. You can turn it on and off if you like. Um, and you have a history timeline, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that's it in the latest features of the app. Yeah. So... If I go to, if I click on front doorbell, what do we get? So we get a summary of the current um, doorbell status. So we can see the battery is probably around bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. So you can see it says battery 35%, uh, connected to slick wire, the signal strength is so on and so on. Uh, and then below that, it's got MAC address and, and the firmware update and stuff like that, yeah? Uh, and that's pretty cool because you can just keep an eye on the battery uh, but you'll get notified if the battery runs low it's been running for about say three weeks now but um, I think there's a lot of room for improvement in terms of performance of the battery because um, because um, you know the sensor the motion sensing is quite sensitive sometimes so it, it keeps getting triggered it keeps getting triggered so you really need to adjust those settings anyway so let's have a quick look at the live view so this is literally live right now so I'm gonna flip it sideways because it's in landscape and you can see uh, the it's like a fisheye view uh, uh, of outside so you've got a really wide angle really really wide angle view of everything outside from end to end and if you want to start speak you can actually hear if I turn you hear that? That's the road going, that's the road outside. There's a car coming. You hear that? So, okay. And if I wanted to talk to someone straight away, I'd press the green and I'd start talking and then they could uh, hear me. Um, but they won't be able to see me, obviously. So that's the live view, pretty cool. And the more you do that, the more you kill the battery. So there's lots of that kind of stuff. There's a history of events, so we can have a look at this. So I just did the live view just now. I did a live view a little while ago just to make sure everything was working before the video started. Um, and then you can see all the recorded motion events now. You can't actually turn these off. Um, it always records any motion. The difference is, is you can actually tell it to notify you. Let's say you know there's no one at home. You can turn on notifications. So when it detects movement, it lets you know. It, it pings you basically. But right now there's no pinging going on. Uh, if we go back, so there's, there's a truck that went past that triggered the sensor. And I'll show you how you can adjust the sensitivity of uh, the motion sensing. So this is about 7 a.m. in the UK. So it's still pretty dark. And if we have a look at a 9 a.m. one, for example, uh, another big truck going past. The little cars are not triggering it, but the big trucks are. The other good thing is if you go to um, here, you can see sh the sharing icon. You can actually just download this video straight to your phone. And it's pretty sick because as soon as it's on your phone, you can WhatsApp it, you can do whatever you like with it. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's that. So there's loads of history, loads of history, loads of history. Um, and you can obviously, if you just hold on, if you just do this, you can say delete everything. Can you guys see that? Delete everything. So just say clear the whole history. We don't need to do this. All these events will be deleted. We know everything's cool. Now I'm signed up for the Ring uh, one year subscription, which is $30 for the whole year where you can store um, uh, recorded clips of 30 seconds some of them are actually a minute long okay we don't want to call that thank you very much right so uh, we have that so we have the history motion snooze so that's not activated you've seen the device health which shows the battery and stuff so let's have a look at motion settings so this has kind of been updated as well uh, there's a wizard which helps you optimize uh, the sensitivity so you don't keep getting triggered 
uh, on every time something goes by or something like that. So if we go this, are there steps leading up to your door? No. Does your door face the street? Yes. Uh, 5 to 15 feet? Yes. And continue. Okay. So that's done. But then there's an extra setting which is new. So does your door face the street? Yes. And now you can see, you can adjust the zone. If I just drag this, you can see I can adjust the zone for the sensor. For the sensor. It, I've basically got it down there. No. So I've got it at minimum practically. Um, and that works much better for me than it constantly being triggered by people walking past, um, cars going past and all that stuff. And it seems to work quite well for me. If you... Um, if it's still too sensitive, they say you can put a wedge on the camera to make the camera point downwards a bit. So that's a physical change, right? You need to put, um, you get the wedges in the box. Remember I showed you in the um, unboxing video, which angle the camera downwards a bit more. So there's less, so you, you're looking more down rather than up. So, you know, this part of the sky bit here is a bit useless, right? You're not going to be, you're more interested in from the, from, well, even from that street level downwards, right? And so that helps you angle the camera down. So that's the one thing to try. And it probably makes sense because you're not really interested in the sky. Even, I mean, you're not really interested in the houses as well, right? You're only interested in your own. So look, then you can say, you can say, once you do that bit, you can say, turn off this section. I don't want, I don't want any sensitivity activated in this section or this section or this section, for example. Right? Saved. Done. Uh, the schedule, so you can actually have it turn on at certain times. Um, in terms of notification so it starts pinging you when you know you're not at work when you know you're not at home and you're at work you can have it activate so any motion sensing that that gets detected it will also notify you like I said all motion detecting is recorded anyway but the difference is whether you get notified of that or not all right so let's go back uh, motion schedule motion frequency captures so look here so you can adjust the frequency of how often the stuff is captured i've got it to standard i may change it to light if i want to extend my battery more i don't want to be charging this up every two weeks three weeks it, i need it to run for at least a month two months straight yeah without messing around with it okay um and that's that actually let's see is there a thing for yeah so you can see here it says look ring alert so if someone rings the doorbell i get notified and i can speak to them uh if someone Motion, if there's a motion alert since it's currently off, I'll only turn it off when on when I'm not home, for example, and stuff like that. Uh, app alert tones, so you can set the ring alerts, you can set the tones for the app, you know, what kind of noise does it make, oh, sorry, what kind of stuff does it do. Let's see, ring alerts. Uh, so this is all about notifications. I've not actually looked at that page before. Linked chimes, so you can see there's a chime linked to it. Uh, so it's only, it's only gonna ring when the doorbell actually rings uh what else do we have shared users so right now i'm the only user but let's say you want your your wife to also have access to the ring app so you can add her as a user and then install it app on her phone for example partners were not interested live view settings means uh, if you want to save more battery power you need to turn this off so you cannot have a live view uh whenever you want ad hoc right now i've got it enabled because that's the way I like it. So um, you could turn that off as well. And if we go to um, here, and if I go to devices, oh, it says it's offline. So let's see. Probably lost its signal. So it says it's lost its Wi Fi signal. So here's the chime. Oh, reconnect. You've got to sick. So you can see device health, right? You can see the chime tone. So you can actually set the tone you want. So right now it's. I don't know if you can hear that actually. Right. So right now that's what I've got. But there's loads. You can set them all up and the chime will play that noise when the doorbell rings basically. Um, other than that, I think that's most of the things covered. So all your devices listed, showed you that before. Um, so pretty good. So far my experience with the ring doorbell has been pretty good actually um, obviously I've got to refine the battery settings a bit more so it lasts a bit longer but otherwise I think it's awesome and if you guys you know um, are always out and about when the house is alone and you want that doorbell on there it's a pretty sick thing to have I think uh, just to keep an eye on what's going on uh, in your driveway or on your doorbell or on your house on the front of your house yeah 
So that's the review of the app. Uh, please sub the channel, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.